If you press the button on the top of the battery and you see red flashes, count the number of flashes. The red light flashing 32 times indicates there is a battery fault. When the battery senses low cell voltage, it can go into fault mode. The main part of the case has holes. The shorter part of the case has tabs. The idea is to lift off six tabs at the same time. Once the tabs are lifted, the case can be separated. Importantly, there is a screw that needs to be removed from here, the top. Start by slipping a fine blade under the edge. Replace the blade with anything flat. You need six inserts at the same time. All tabs have to be lifted at once. Once all six tabs are lifted, pull the two halves apart. This button and the spring will fall out. The button turns on the micro switch inside. Undo the small Torx screw. This clear lens shines the LED through the sides. It also locks the battery into the case. Make sure the clear tab is the correct way up when reassembling. Do not desolder the battery management board. The board is really difficult to replace back on. On the left it's untouched, on the right it's been replaced. Use a multimeter to test cell voltages. If all cell voltages are around 4 volts, we suspect a BMS fault. The board has a BMS fault, this one. Use a strong knife to prise off the spot welds. Sometimes the tabs will break. Try and preserve as much of the tab as you can. Remove every tab on every cell. We want every cell removed for testing. We do not want to test in circuit. In circuit testing could damage the BMS. Flatten the tabs with a hammer. Flattening will allow us to spot weld them back on. You could mark the polarity if you're not sure. Slip the cells out. Two of the cells may be stuck with glue around the thermal resistor. Some of the cells may be able to be saved. Use a dedicated lithium ion charger. If some of the cells are good, always grind off the old welds. This will allow you to weld the tabs back on. This shows that even broken tabs can be welded back. As mentioned, flatten the tabs with a hammer. Here, is the one with the faulty BMS, it's now BS. The cells were all transferred to the next battery. The board has not been touched. Pressing the button will show if it works. No sign of red, beautiful. Replace the clear lens with the lipped hole facing down. Replace the spring and the button. Click the two halves together and replace the screw. Blue lights on charge indicate a successful battery fix. Thanks for watching.